Greetings, curious humans. I'm Cybot GPT, your AI educator, and today we're embarking on an incredible journey to the red planet, Mars. But we're not just talking about the breathtaking landscapes or the possibility of colonization. Today, we're delving deep into the mysterious Martian soil. Mars has intrigued our imagination for generations, and as we inch closer to the possibility of human exploration, understanding the unique properties of its soil becomes paramount. What secrets does this rusty, alien terrain hold? Could it sustain life, or perhaps even reveal clues about Mars' distant past? In this video, we'll uncover the intriguing characteristics of Martian soil, explore the challenges it presents for future missions, and discuss its potential implications for the future of space exploration. So, buckle up and get ready for a captivating journey through the soil of the Red Planet. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on our fascinating explorations of the cosmos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps our channel grow and brings more incredible content like this to you. Alright, are you ready to uncover the Martian soil's secrets with me? Let's get started! But first, let's understand what Martian soil is made of and why it's so different from the soil here on Earth. So. Let's begin our journey into the enigmatic world of Martian soil. Martian soil is the fine, loose layer of regolith covering the surface of Mars. Unlike Earth soil, it lacks organic content and can contain toxic perchlorates. It's the finer part of the Martian regolith. Although no samples have been brought to Earth yet, we've studied it remotely using Mars rovers and orbiters. On Earth, soil includes organic matter, but in planetary science, soil is defined functionally to distinguish it from rocks. Rocks are larger, immobile materials with high thermal inertia, while soil is fine-grained and can be moved by wind. It encompasses various components like bed forms, clasts, concretions, drift, dust, and sand. Martian dust is even finer than Martian soil, with particles less than 30 micrometers in diameter. There's debate about the definition of soil in the scientific community, but it's generally seen as a chemically weathered surface layer that retains information about the planet's history and doesn't require the presence of life to form. Martian soil contains high concentrations of toxic perchlorate compounds, primarily composed of chlorine. These perchlorates were first discovered by the Mars rover Sojourner and confirmed by subsequent missions like Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity. The Mars Odyssey orbiter has also detected perchlorates throughout Mars' surface. The levels of perchlorates in Martian soil, approximately 0.5%, are considered toxic to humans and detrimental to plant life. Studies have shown that such concentrations can lead to a decline in chlorophyll content in plant leaves, reduced root oxidizing power, smaller plant size, and an accumulation of perchlorates in plant tissues. Some plant species, like Icornia crassipes, show resistance to perchlorates but end up accumulating these toxic salts. Certain bacterial life forms have adapted to perchlorates, but high levels of ultraviolet radiation on the Martian surface can break down these compounds, creating even more hazardous chemicals that are lethal to bacteria. The fine Martian dust also poses health risks to humans. Studies have shown that when this dust interacts with water, it produces reactive molecules known to cause lung disease, including cancer. NASA has been actively studying the toxic effects of Martian dust on humans, and the Mars 2020 rover mission includes instruments to further investigate these hazards. Samples collected by Mars 2020 may provide additional insights once analyzed in laboratories on Earth. Mars features vast areas of sand, dust, rocks, and boulders on its surface, occasionally experiencing planet-wide dust storms. The fine Martian dust suspended in the atmosphere gives the sky a reddish hue, mainly due to iron minerals that may have formed billions of years ago during a warmer, wetter period on the planet. Modern rusting processes on Mars may be attributed to the formation of superoxides on minerals exposed to ultraviolet sunlight. While the Martian winds are relatively weak due to the thin atmosphere, liquid water may have played a role in shaping the planet's surface in the past, forming gullies and river valleys. Scientists are investigating whether groundwater sapping continues to shape Martian soil and whether carbon dioxide hydrates are present. Mars contains significant quantities of water and carbon dioxide ice, primarily in the equatorial regions and on the surface at higher latitudes. 
the presence of olivine suggests that physical weathering processes currently dominate over chemical weathering. Studies have revealed that Martian soil is slightly alkaline and contains essential nutrients like magnesium, sodium, potassium, and chloride, potentially suitable for plant growth. However, traces of the toxic salt perchlorate have been detected in Martian soil, making it more exotic and challenging for future colonization efforts. Analyses of Martian soil have identified various minerals, including feldspar, pyroxenes, and olivine, similar to weathered basaltic soils found in Hawaiian volcanoes. Water molecules, sulfur, chlorine, and hints of organic compounds have also been detected in Martian soil, though terrestrial contamination cannot be ruled out. Furthermore, the Curiosity rover found evidence of easily accessible water in soil samples at the rockniest region of Gale Crater. Two principal soil types were identified, a fine-grained mafic type and a locally derived, coarse-grained felsic type. Perchlorates were also found, complicating the search for organic molecules related to potential Martian life. The ongoing study of Martian soil is crucial for future colonization efforts as it provides insight into local resources. While classification remains a work in progress, using the term soil to describe unconsolidated sediment on Mars is more appropriate than other terms, given the limited knowledge of the planet's surface. Dust on Mars settles from its thinner atmosphere more quickly than on Earth. For instance, dust from the 2001 global dust storms on Mars only stayed in the atmosphere for about 0.6 years, whereas dust from Earth's Mount Pinatubo eruption took approximately two years to settle. Martian dust movements are generally smaller than on Earth, even during global dust storms. The key difference in dust concentration between Earth and Mars is that on Earth, dust that leaves the atmosphere often aggregates into larger particles through soil moisture or ends up suspended in oceanic waters, aided by the presence of liquid water on most of Earth's surface. Neither of these processes occurs on Mars, allowing deposited dust to be readily resuspended into the Martian atmosphere. The Martian atmospheric dust closely resembles surface dust and is primarily composed of plagioclase feldspar and zeolite. Observations from Mars rovers indicate that about 45% of the iron in atmospheric dust is oxidized, consistent with mechanical derivation and limited aqueous alteration. Mars' dominant wind activity, coupled with the presence of abundant dune fields, can easily lift particles into the atmosphere, especially when larger grains collide with and dislodge fine particles. Martian atmospheric dust particles are typically 3 micrometers in diameter. While Mars has a thinner atmosphere, its lower gravitational acceleration complicates the estimation of particle sizes that can remain suspended. Electrostatic and van der Waals forces among fine particles further complicate the calculations. Research suggests that particles as large as 20 micrometers in diameter can enter suspension from rest at low surface wind turbulence, and even 3 micrometers diameter particles can remain suspended indefinitely at most wind speeds. In July 2018, scientists identified the Medusi Fossi formation as the largest single source of dust on Mars. Current research on Martian soil on Earth primarily relies on using Martian soil simulants like the MGS-1 simulant, created by Exolith Lab. These simulants mimic the chemical and mechanical properties of Martian regolith based on data from various Mars spacecraft. They serve as terrestrial materials for conducting experiments, research, and testing prototypes related to activities involving Martian soil, such as dust control for transportation equipment, advanced life support systems, and in-situ resource utilization. Future plans involve Mars sample return missions that aim to bring actual Martian soil back to Earth for more comprehensive analysis than what can be achieved on Mars itself. These missions will provide more accurate Martian soil simulants. The initial step in this multi-part mission is the Mars 2020 lander, which will collect soil samples over an extended period. Subsequently, a second lander will gather these samples and transport them back to Earth for in-depth examination. And there you have it, fellow space enthusiasts! We've delved deep into the captivating world of Martian soil. From its unique properties to the challenges it poses for future exploration, we've uncovered some of the secrets hidden within the dusty regolith of the Red Planet. But the journey doesn't end here. The quest to understand and harness the potential of Martian soil continues, with upcoming sample return missions that promise to bring us even closer to unlocking the mysteries of Mars. 
If you enjoyed this exploration of Martian soil and want to stay updated on all things space and science, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Your support fuels our passion for uncovering the wonders of the universe. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the Martian landscape. As we look to the future, one question remains, what other cosmic wonders are waiting for us to discover? This is Cybot GPT, signing off and remember, the sky is not the limit, it is only the beginning.